Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty. Yesterday we looked at the factory settings for the cast off 762. No attachments, bare bones, and when all was said and done, I said this. I think the cast off is as powerful at factory settings. Obviously it is. Is it controllable? Yes. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the recoil a little bit, but I'm going to go for the ADS speed and the sprint to fire speed. That's going to be my focus on configuration. Let's take a look at it and see how we did. When I say it, I mean the configuration. First and foremost, let's go for that recoil. And I chose the Jack Requiem kit. And what does that do for us? It drops the recoil significantly. 100% on the vertical recoil, 86% on the horizontal, which was probably the worst part of the recoil, and 50% on the gun kick. In other words, the thing shoots straight. It impacts the bullet velocity just a little bit and the rate of fire somewhat. So let's take a look, and these are composite numbers. I'm going to add some recoil, going to take some away, but when all the attachments are on the weapon this is the fine these are the final numbers so let's compare the bare bones recoil with a jack requiem recoil equipped in the shooting range let's have a look i'm just going to let the recoil eat here not try to control it at all bare bones on the top configured down below and you can see that with the bare bones i end up staring at the ceiling with the configured it knocks the 25 meter target down so there's a significant difference between the configured and bare bones in terms of recoil. So number one, the recoil is completed. Now we still need to impact the ADS speed, the sprint to fire speed, and I also like the ADS movement speed. The true tack grip, and what that does is it gives back some of the recoil, but we got plenty to give back with this weapon as we've seen. It shoots straight as an arrow. Absolutely. The ADS speed slightly. Sprint to fire speed, though, 16%. We're now down at 167 milliseconds, which is quite reasonable. The Prolite TL3 stock helps with the movement speed and the ADS speed. I'm going to hit the hip fire just a little bit, but the hip fire is still going to be good enough for the emergencies. And like I said, the recoil numbers, those are the final numbers. They're composite, so that's as bad as it's going to get, which is outstanding. The XRK Edge BW4 hand stop. And that helps with our ADS speed, our sprint to fire speed, two things that we were looking to improve. But look at the ADS movement speed. We're all the way up to 3.2 meters per second. Sniffing your feet speed is up 13% as is movement speed. And since I hit an extra slot, I went ahead and looked at the 40 round mag and guess what? It has absolutely no effect on the performance of this weapon. When you're looking at 4%, 3%, whatever, that's no effect. Now, 10% on an empty reload, but for 40 rounds at 3.3 seconds, that's pretty darn good. And 2.7 seconds is pretty fast for a 40 round mag. Now let's have a look at the numbers and, and see how the configuration affects those. When you compare the bare cast off to the configured cast off now, Green is good for the configured green highlighter to something to take note of. Our ADS speed, solve for. Crouch movement speed's a lot better too, but Grandpa doesn't do that a lot. ADS movement speed is a lot better, and Grandpa does that as a sprint to fire speed. So far, all upside. We've already talked about the fire rate and the bullet velocity, but look at that recoil. Oh my gosh. This gun, as we've already seen, is a straight shooter, which is hard to come by these days. Anybody that's a straight shooter, put your arm around them and stay close to them. Let's take this configured cast off onto the field of honor and see how it does for Grandpa compared to the bare bones, which did quite well, and what it does to Grandpa's friendly enemies. Let's go. Looks like we're going skiing, and we're engaged right away in free for all. I don't have these spawns down. Oh, thank you, Riddler or Joker, for jumping in front of me. So, so far, so good on the, uh, on the recoil and the sprint to fire. They're absolutely awesome. Uh, maybe we need to start that life over again. Looking for the Elvis, the Gact Elvis. 
which is always good. And there's the Joker, dressed in whatever color that is. But you can see it moves fast and it shoots straight, even when you don't feel good and you're bleeding. I feel pretty comfortable. I mean, it puts out a really strong bullet. It's always good to gack Elvis because I get you one closer to the lead. Puts them out at almost 600 rounds a minute, a little bit slower with this configuration, but that's fast enough to win those close five. Ooh. Grandpa eats a Granado for breakfast. Still don't see the, there's a ski lift. Where are the skis? Somebody stepped on a proxy. There's the Joker, man. He's keeping Grandpa in this game. Single-handedly. Cartoon character. As you can see, very mobile. Shoot straight. See if we can move around and get this person. There we go. Yeah, overall, I give this configuration... Two hearty thumbs up. I used it a little bit in my stream last night. Uh, <laughs> had some wreck, getting wreck difficulties here and there, but not with this gun. This gun actually did fairly well. I worked with some others. There were some folks on aftermarket steroids. There were some other good players. Okay, let's try it at distance, and let's see if we can hit somebody at distance. What's he doing? Some kind of a... Pila. He was going to use the Pila. There we go. Enemy UAV active. And there's the Joker. Yeah, this gun is just really smooth. I thought it was powerful in Modern Warfare 2, and I felt its power. I've done a video on it in Modern Warfare 3, but this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. This configuration, the Jack Requiem, I haven't tried it yet. Till this airs the Pila, man. It looks like he's going to Pila off and respawn. Oh, you didn't see me, did you? Joker's keeping me in the game. I have no clue where to put the turret. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, I got guacamole. I had some guacamole with my chips. One more gack and we're done. Oh, I thought that would be it, and he was abusing my turret. A joker. It's not so funny anymore. Oh, he's the last gack. So, yeah, this is a fantastic, and my wife gave me a husk from the uh, cabbage. I like eating those. It's the Polish blood. But in any case, fantastic. Try this configuration. It is spectacular. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Helps me. Helps the family. Peace to you. And I have some more gameplay with this coming up after the F4 pops its shoot. Cheers and peace.
Good work.